guys, in this video we're going to make some monster cupcake toppers. We're going to use these foam balls to create a dome shape for the top of our cupcakes. So I've dyed some fondant in a gooseberry green and I've covered my hand in food colouring, which I'm struggling to get off. I've just used quite a large cookie cutter to cut out a circle and then I've cut out another sort of semi-circle for the main part of my face. Now you can do the faces all differently, so for this one I've cut out a circle and then sort of a moon shaped. And then let's try on this one. If we pull a little bit up on the edge just there, it's going to have a bit of a jaggedy looking mouth. And what I'm going to do is just push these carefully around my foam ball. Excuse the fact that my hands are covered in food colouring. Let's try a different colour now. I've got a really pale purple. So I've done exactly the same in a different colour. Cutting out a smaller piece for the mouth again. And play around with the different shapes for the bottom of the mouth. I'm going to leave these basic sort of face shapes where we've just got the face and the mouth to dry overnight on my cupcake domes. You can start working on them straight away if you want. It is entirely up to you. I just find them a little bit easier if they've set a little bit harder. And I'm just cutting some little semicircles for some teeth. I'll stick those against the edge of the mouth. Or you could even do some little triangles for teeth. Let's go for some more little semicircles on here. You can vary the sizes as well. Try and get them a little bit different on each of your cupcakes. So on this one we've gone for a little jaggedy style mouth. And let's give him some fangs coming down. And then we're going to add some eyes. So just a ball of white fondant. Squish it on. We'll do one eye a bit bigger than the other. Just stick it with a little bit of water or edible glue. And I've got some of the green left over from the face. So I'm just rolling a little ball. Pushing that into each eye. And then I'm rolling some balls of the green. We're going to give him some water type skin. Let's give him a couple of little teardrops for some little ears. He's starting to look a little bit more monster-like now. This one's a happy monster. A little ball of black in each eye. Like that. And we're going to do the same with our other cupcakes. So I'll try an oval shape rather than a round shape for the eye in this one. And on this guy I'm going to give him some eyebrows. So I'm going to roll like a little mini slug shape in black. Just got fondant again here. And I'm using the same colour as we've used for the face. So this is like a pale blue we've got here. Put one in each eye. Again, another ball of black in each eye. Give him a few warts. And try all different size and shape eyes. So on this one, I'm going to do a bigger eye, but I might just give him one eye. We'll do exactly the same in the middle, though, where we've got a ball of colour, ball of black. And on this one, I think I'm going to give him an eyelid. So I've rolled a bit of a circle. And we'll just cut that so we've got a semicircle. And let's pull that over the top of the eye. Just stretch it slightly so it fits nicely onto there. Okay, so I'm going to leave that one nice and simple. I'm just going to play around now with different number of eyes. See what they all look like. So let's give this one three. And they just now need some little balls of white in the eye just to bring them to life a little bit more. Uh, we'll put one in this one as well. And we'll do the same in all the different ones we've made. And once they've had a little bit of time to dry, overnight is fine. I'm just going to add a little bit of dust. So I'm using a darker green on this one just to enhance sort of the edges, make it look a bit shaded. And I've got, this is a eucalyptus green that we're just painting around the very edge of that green circle in the eye. I'll do that on all of them. So once you've done with that, you just need to get them onto your cupcakes. And all I'm going to do is pipe a little bit of buttercream just onto the top and then we're going to press our little dome shaped monster on the top like that. Quick and easy idea for Halloween and children's birthday parties. Please do check out my other Halloween videos. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.